What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Reaper and the Peanut, Rob Kimmons' vlog. Um, today we're going to talk about losing. Um, now, here's the thing about losing. I, we're, I don't know if we're the same even on this. We don't. We haven't practiced this or anything. I, I kind of want to see what you think about it. So why, why don't you go first? Um, I think, like, there's this thing lately that people are like, you learn a lot from this. And you, sh you will, but you should make it a habit. You should strive for, for better. Don't, don't, uh, don't enter tournaments in fights where it looks good, either on a resume or uh, if someone thinks you can win, if you're not ready for it. Get prepared. When you go to war, you don't you don't uh, just you know bring a slingshot. You go with tanks. You go with infantry. Everything like that. So I, I feel like losing is part of life, and it's something that happens. But don't make it a habit. That's great. I, I swear that is perfect. Okay. I didn't know if we were gonna agree on this. I agree one million percent with what you just said. Okay. Because here's the thing. Okay. One, you don't you don't always learn from a loss. Okay. I will say that. Because people, people pretend that, but you don't. If you go get just murdered and demolished, you know, if your coach sets you up for your first fight, fight some guy that's 12-0, and 0, and I've seen these things yeah. happen, you know what I yeah. mean? It's your first, first fight's a title fight. Dude, like, what? Fetched. That happens a lot. I mean, way more than you would think. You're not going to learn nothing. You're just going to learn that you're not as good as you thought you were. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes maybe that is what some people need to learn, I guess, but for the most part, that's not going to help your career or not. Yeah. Now, if you're taking you know, smart fights that you have a chance of winning and you lose, sometimes that, I will say, that is good for you. I know every time I've lost in my career, um, well, let me just say, not every time, let me say my first loss. My first loss when I, I lost against uh, Riggs for the WEC world title. I, that, I got more, I got better from that one fight than any other fight, for sure. And the reason is because I was an all-Kansas wrestler, you know, I had never been on my back, so I really didn't even train off my back. I learned how to do, you know, stand up, and I learned, and I, pra I practiced, I practiced striking, and I practiced takedowns, and passing the guard, you know, in top game. After that fight, when I got put on my back by an all-American wrestler, you know what I mean? I realized, okay, I have to learn all facets of the game. Yeah. yeah. And so I became uh, a more complete fighter because I, I started focusing. On nothing but jujitsu, yeah. you know what I mean, and I and I and I got so much better. Yeah. Um. With that being said, also a lot of times people, one thing that's always killed me, I see guys lose a fight, and you know they they walk around the, after the fight, and they're just celebrating with their buddies. They still got their hands wrapped because they're you know they're like, hey, look at me, I'm the guy that fought a while ago and got murdered. I don't understand that. I will say this, man. Me, when I lose, it kills me. It rips my heart out, dude. I, I've been backstage before crying, um, you know, in the showers, you know, just like, oh, I can't lose it because I always expect to win every single fight. It always blows my mind when I lose. I'm like, how did this happen? That's how it should be. And it, if that's how you take it, if a fight kills you when you lose, like you're like, oh, I can't believe this, then it really will make you better. Yeah. If you, because you're going to do whatever you have to do to not let that ever happen again. Now, if on the other hand, you lose and it makes, you're happy, you're like, I did pretty good, didn't I, guys? Like I just seen this weekend. I seen, yeah. I seen guys going, I did pretty good, huh, coach? No, you got murdered. I mean, not guys from my camp. See, we don't lose. But, <laughs> but, but I'm just saying. Well, it's that, it's that, well, it's, you know, the, the, this, the, hmm. Mm, which, hey, if you're just doing it to do it, you're like, hey, I don't want to take a fight. But if you want to make this something you really want to do, and you want to train other people in, and you want to make it your art, and you want to make it your life, you, you can't have that, ah, well, you know, people expected me to lose. You can't do that. You can't have that mindset. You can't have any of those outs. I don't think. No, I feel like it's offensive towards other fighters. If the only reason you're fighting is to say that you're a fighter, you know, and you don't care if you win or lose, I, I find it offensive, you know. I it, it drives me crazy when a guy loses two or three amateur fights in a row and then turns pro. I'm like, man, you can't win at amateur level. Why are you turning pro? You know, it's offensive. And I know they're, they're, most of these guys are doing it just so they can say, well, I'm a pro fighter. No, you're not. If you're just you're a, a pro, you know, 
feeder, Miller, feeder, Miller. feeder fish. Yep. You know what I mean? You're just you're padding for somebody's record. That's yep. all you are, and it yep. drives me crazy. Now there's some guys that are just never going to be a great fighter, and that's not what I'm talking about. There's a, there's a lot of guys that go out and maybe they're 500 and they win every other fight. They try the hardest every time. And, and they're not taking stupid fights. They just don't win. I'm not talking about that guy, okay? I, I have you know nothing but respect for that guy. But if you're the guy that just goes out and fights and gives up halfway through a fight, because that, that drives me crazy too, man. If you, if you take a couple punches and give up, you're soft, dude. I don't get it. Well, that or you, you didn't put in the time. You didn't take it seriously enough. You didn't train hard enough. You know, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't put yourself in the fire. You know what I mean? You got burned by it. And, and, and you, if you wanted, to, if you're gonna do it, take it by a hundred percent. You know what I mean? Right. No, I agree. That's I wasn't. I, I actually thought we were gonna probably be different on this. Really? But, no. but we we're hundred percent on. I. I I agree with you 100%. Good job. Hey, thanks, man. All right. Yeah, good deal. We All agree right. on something. This is the first time for everything, <laughs> hey. right? Yeah. Okay. Hey, you guys have a, a great week. Um, we have a lot of stuff coming up. Stay tuned, okay? Remember, June 25th is those MMA combat. It's going to be awesome, okay? So check us out on uh, Facebook. Uh, John Thane, Rob Kimmins, Perseverance MMA. Come check us out, guys. Thanks a lot. You guys have a good one. Bye.